Hi everybody, my name is Mike Zietta. For three generations, my family's had a real love for the horse-drawn carriages, the appointments, the carriage driving, and all the accessories. I share that same love. I love buying and selling, I love building my own collection, and more importantly, I love the history. And I've noticed that there's just not a lot on YouTube that deals with antique carriages or the appointments, so I thought I'd start a series of videos looking at various things. We may look at some items from my collection. We may look at some items that I'm offering for sale. And recently, I've been contacted by a lot of people who are asking me if I'd be interested in selling their collection. So I may be offering some items for sale as well. So I'm really excited to present these series of videos to everybody, and I hope you enjoy them. And I thought we'd kick this series of videos off with something that we all have in our own stable or carriage house and never really thought a lot about, or the functionality of it. And that item is kidney links, but the different items that would go under the hames when you are driving the horses. And I thought I would start with something called a chain uh, link. And this is correct when you're driving a single horse, and it's very easy to recognize the type of hames it would use because you would have a hook on the bottom of each hame. And so, just to reiterate, this is when you are driving a single horse, and this is polished steel. And before I go too far, you're going to hear me use the word polished steel multiple times in this conversation. And that is historically correct. These items were made by polished steel. They uh, attach to a magnet or the magnetic. And I realize that for a lot of us or people who are in the show ring, you may want brass or you may want stainless steel. I prefer items that are historically correct, and that is polished steel. And if you're ever a place with me and you see me running around with a magnet, you know I'm sticking a magnet to everything because I want to see if it's the historic steel or if it's a newer item. So that chain, a hand chain is when you are driving single. The second thing is a kidney link when you're driving a pair of horses. And there are really two versions of these. These are both polished steel with a steel ring. You had one with an open top and you had one with a link on the top, a folding link. They both serve the exact same purpose when driving a pair of horses. And um, the hames that they went with were very easy to recognize because they had an eyelet on the bottom of each side. So those are just real nice, nice looking kidney links. But just, just like today, people want versatility, the same thing was done historically. And I wanna thank Greg Hunt, I also wanna thank David Friedman, who shared their knowledge with me when I came across one of these items. And according to both those gentlemen, this is called a Bismarck link. And this Bismarck link allowed you to take a hane that was traditionally used for driving a pair of horses, so it had an eyelet on the bottom of each side, and you could use it while driving single. And I think these are just very simple, but they're really neat. And I love the versatility of them, and I think they'll look great in a steel case someday and inside my collection. But what a Bismarck link allowed you to take a hame that was used for driving a pair to drive single. This is one of my favorite things I own. And this allowed you to take hames that had a hook on the bottom of each one and use it with a pair of horses. So that you would need two of these and they would hook on the bottom of the hames and then your single hames could then be used with a pair of horses. So just a really neat versatile item. This is also polished steel and this I just think is really neat from the condition to the design to the versatility, everything about it I think just makes it a great piece. The next item I want to talk about is a really very specialized item and I think any of us know in the carriage world there's nothing more exciting than a coach, whether a park coach or a road coach. And both of those are so built on tradition that in history it's what makes them so exciting. One of those parts that's very traditional and correct is when driving a road coach is the road coach kidney link. And this is the only time that these were used. The only time they were used. And these hames are very distinctive because they have an eyelet on one side and a hook for the chain on the other. And if you're ever in an auction and you see a bunch of guys or ladies and they're all kicking a pile with their feet, they're all looking for road coach hames. What's on the bottom? Looking for finding that little treasure. But you can see it's a small kidney link with a folding uh, link on top and a chain. The one thing that coaching is based so much on tradition is that I want everyone to imagine that you were standing between two horses and they were facing forward and you were facing forward as well. Tradition dictates that the chain always pointed to the outside. So on the left-hand horse, it would face this way. On the right-hand horse, it would face this way. 
And this allowed you to easily adjust the hames for different size horses as the harness was being used on, on various horses. So these really, you want to always have four of these because as we know with a road coach you had to have four. And, um, but they just, they're just beautiful and I'm, I'm very, very lucky and do have a set of four of these and I just wanted to share one for this display today. And the last kidney link I have, sorry, is just a very nice adjustable piece. And I think this is a great example. It shows some variation based on the other pieces I've shown. Those have all been sent to a, a, a metal tumbler and they've been tumbled and that polished steel has a very nice clean look. This piece has not been sent to be tumbled yet. So you can see it's dirty. When they tumble it, it'll give it a nice shiny look like the others. And this is an adjustable, another adjustable kidney link. And it has a lever on the bottom, excuse me, that you pull down and you simply adjust the kidney link to different size horses that you need. So just a very versatile piece. So I hope everybody really enjoyed these videos. I'm looking forward to doing them and I look forward to your comments and your insights. And um, please let me know what you'd like to hear more about or like to see pictures of. And I will certainly uh, get Instagram and Facebook. You can contact me there. And I look forward to hearing back from everybody. And thank you for the time.